So, as you know, the plate method I designed didn't really work very well. Um, one cell was supplying all the current, basically. That's what I tried to explain in my last video. So, I've gone back to the drawing board and I've come up with these. So these are brackets that connect to both the cells, but they're one lump rather than having two individual washers like before. Then there's a hole in the middle for a bolt which just holds the lug centrally. And then the existing clamps go on top and hold the lug in between. So it looks something a bit like this. Um, and yeah, the aim is just to spread the load more evenly uh, between the two batteries. And from my little bit of testing, it seems to work really well. So I'll just show you exactly how I connect it up. It's very similar, they all still fit in. So I start with some 20 mil wide aluminium bar that way and cut it down into these shapes and use a template to mark the holes. Now I didn't manage to film any of this, but you can imagine. Um, and then I had to cut it down to 15 mil because um, that's all that was available to me. And then obviously cut it to size. Now what I do is I put it in my vise and I need to tap this hole in the middle because these are 3.5mm holes, deliberately bigger than an M3 bolt so there's a bit of wiggle room. And just like that, the threads are all cut. Now what I've had to do with the cells is because of the way they're constructed, there are these um, bits on each side which just stick on. Um, and these have the tabs that interlock the cells but I've had to remove it because it was sticking up and blocking this. On the other side, there's no removable bit, so I've had to cut it down. Um, you can see this side still has that bit of plastic sticking up, but this side doesn't. So when they go together, you've got this flat surface for which that can then go onto. So once that's on, I then get the plate, which is the same one I've showed off before, um, with the bolts, and then just line up those bolts with that. Um, and with the holes in the battery and just get them started reason being so you can lift up the plate so the lug you can see the bolt I've put in there which just goes around the middle circle of the lug to keep it central so the lug goes in there and the plate comes down and that lug cannot come out there because of that centre thing and then I just go ahead and tighten them all down so I do it evenly and lightly first and then I actually do the far ones up a little bit tighter than the front ones just to stop um, just to ensure that the end has even contact pressure um, and that this doesn't pull up or anything and then I just do these ones just until they're tight basically and uh, as you can see still secure down there and secure down there and uh, yeah that's it basically so then I reattach that part of the pack and then get it ready for disassembly on the other side and do the same thing eight times. Okay, so this is the test ride part of the video. I've replaced all the brackets. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically go to this side road, which is on a hill, get to the bottom. Um, in fact, let's, yeah, I'll do it from the bottom. And basically floor it and record the screen of my phone and see what happens to the cell voltages. Now, hopefully, that'll all stay fairly decent um, and we won't have any going particularly low. Uh, that is the plan. So let's see if that plan is going to be put into action. Oh, yeah, also got the regen on, so this is all regen slowing down here, which is good to know. So, if I just angle myself, uh, that's not gone well, has it? Okay, so once I get past this side road, I will give it some and just see. Hopefully it won't cut out, so here you go. Now, I'll have put that on the screen in the editing so you'll know exactly what's just happened. I don't, so let's just have a look. So, Cell number 12, I mean, look at that, mate. That is 
That is good. 3.5, 3.4, 3.2. Okay, I need to have a look at cell 12. That could just be a dodgy connection. The only thing I don't like about regen and this slide regen it's called, which is where when you lift off the throttle it gives you a bit of braking, is that you have to keep the throttle on constantly, which actually drains more power. Then you probably make that up when you regen, so yeah. I don't know. So like, so if I lift the throttle now, all regen, not, not touching the brake. Now I'm probably not going to stop in time, so I'm going to have to use a little bit of brake at the last minute just to do that last bit of stopping. Yeah, this must look so dodgy going around with all these wires hanging off it. But I don't care, because I'm having fun. You also get this kind of like clunk when you take off regen. Because like when you come to a stop, like, and then you go back on throttle, it's a bit of a clunk. Uh, hello, you heard of the pavement. Sorry. Hey, that's what it's about. Hey? Oh, I built it myself. But you could, huh? Uh, about three grand when it's done. I want to get the wheels next. Thinking getting 18 inch rather than 19 inch because I did some research, asked on a few forums and 18 inch you get a bit better acceleration, a bit lighter and also they're a more common size. So get more tyres and a wider variety of tyres and all that. Um, whereas 19, yeah, a bit more expensive as well.